All right, up first today. Now, if you haven't found a gift for your mom for Mother's Day yet, yeah, don't worry. Our first guest this morning has made a list of the best hotels where you can pamper your mom this upcoming weekend. And here with us to tell us more about it is Roberta Tyler. Hi, Roberta. Hi, so great to be here. Thanks for coming in. So what you got you. for us? Are so we trying to get rid of mom and send well, her out? Of, no, out of no, town no. Actually, I the way that I see this <laughs> is I think you need to take mom. Oh. So a lot of us have you know ideas for gifts for mom, and we want to make sure that she feels loved. Right. And I think the gift of a memory of travel is one of the greatest gifts you can give if you haven't done that yet. And it's much more unique than the typical um, things that you can give her. So what we've done, what we've done is kind of put together some ideas for both a staycation. The drive distance opportunity for you to celebrate mom somewhere that's special to her and to you. Well, let's start with the staycation. I mean, that's the most affordable, right? Absolutely. And it's so much fun. We all have bucket lists of what we want to do in our cities. And we keep postponing it, which is so silly. And D.C. is such a great place to explore. And there's so many great things to do in restaurants that um, staying in a wonderful boutique and independent hotel is really the way to go so that you really feel the flavor of the city. Yeah, and moms want to spend time with you. That's really what they want to do. They do. And I think a staycation is a nice way to do that because there's, the phone hopefully won't be ringing off the hook. You know, yeah, people it's bother pretty you. It's easy. You. you check in. Um, you enjoy the room. I mean, we've suggested some awesome hotels mm -hmm. that uh, we believe are great, great experiences here well, in D.C. You were mentioning boutique hotels. Yeah, that's, that's right. what you feel is the way to go. Go with I a boutique. Do. Why is that? Well, boutique and independent hotels in general offer a much more unique experience in the city that you're visiting. They're usually locally run and managed, and they have some sort of historic or um, special values that hold true to the city that you're in. So whether you're at the Capitol Skyline in D.C. or the Normandy Hotel in D.C., those are both very different hotels, but right. really represent a certain era of this city that is very special. And spending, you know, both the, treating yourself to the night in the hotel as well as exploring your city from certain hubs that may not be your your true neighborhood right. is a very nice way to spend the weekend. Now the Normandy, isn't that near the zoo area? Yes, exactly. So, so there's the something you could so do right there. Yeah, yeah, everybody yeah, loves absolutely. the zoo. Yeah. Yeah, the zoo is such a nice idea to do because it's such a nice stroll, first of all, for someone who likes to walk around. And, yeah. you know, a lot of us, as we grow up, we, we kind of can't even remember the last time we went to visit a zoo. Um, mm -hmm. That's true. And especially with our moms. Like, mm -hmm. I was thinking about it the other day. It's just, it's been a long time. And so not only do you have something local, but, like, for a little getaway, like, to yes. go to so I've got two ideas for you. One is a very long road trip with mom, but okay. um, New York City is the shorter of the road trips mm -hmm. um, and such a great city to visit. There's so much going on in New York at any given time, but this weekend in particular, there's a lot of great opportunities to stay in New York City as well. Um, this time of year and going into summer, the weekends tend to be less crowded than the weeks. Um, which is such a good, such good news for reservations, for tickets, for events. Um, Are just, hotels cheaper on the weekends yeah. too? They can be. It really depends on the location of the hotel. Some hotels are kind of skewed as party hotels, and one of the ones we are suggesting is a little bit more for the hip mom, the Maritime Hotel, which is mm -hmm. downtown in Chelsea, and it's got lovely outdoor space where you can sit outside, and the weekend weather is looking kind of promising on certain days. Um, so there's some really great experiences that you can have in that Chelsea meatpacking area that we've oh, yeah. we feel at Stateful is is very much mm -hmm. something that um, that you and mom can enjoy and it might be a little out of the box. Yeah. Um, and, and getting some outdoor space in New York City that's a prime we don't that have thing. Yeah, right. Right. Yes. yes. I, I just think sitting out like there with your cup of coffee in the morning. Maybe <laughs> there's a beautiful tree in bloom near right. you. Right. Might be nice. Absolutely. But I like the idea of going to Chelsea and doing something a little different because right. that's kind of like my mom. My mom's not. She's a busybody. She wants to be out and about and what's going on. That's you know, right. She can hear some great music and just you know burst into a little dance. Yes. That's my mama. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you like that, there's also, I, I read about a Bayou Music Festival in Carroll Gardens, Brooklyn this weekend as okay. well. That's Ooh. like amazing to go to. So. See, that's right at my mama's alley. <laughs> she yeah. loves that. Right? And that's New York City. So it's something very different, which mm -hmm. is just typical of New York, where you can experience, you know, what we're most known for, which is theater and restaurants. But there's also that side that's a little bit more edgy and also a little bit more cultural. So now you can have it all. Now, where would you stay if you wanted to go to the theater, say? Mm -hmm. uh, the theaters, so this. Sanctuary Hotel is...
but it literally is a sanctuary in Times Square where you've got you know that kind of peaceful and wonderful comfortable rooms but you're also walking distance from all the theaters and getting tickets you know there's a lot of opportunities to get tickets either on the fly last minute mm -hmm. or getting tickets um, you know planning ahead of time that sounds nice now it's what about this longer road trip you're talking about where's that so okay you have to have a great relationship with mom for this one <laughs> because it's about I think it's about six and a half hours from here but wow. it is Asheville North Carolina and okay. I was there just a few weeks ago visiting that marketplace and and, and it is amazing. It's the cutest town, and it's right near, like, it's just, there's hiking, mm -hmm. there's beautiful scenery, there's also amazing food. The restaurants there blew me away. And, and you can actually it, get sweet tea there. Oh, so good. <laughs> <laughs> my, my mom, really? I grew up on sweet tea. That's why I said oh, that. there you go. <laughs> you definitely get that southern feel, which and is right. the Grove so Park fun. Inn. I remember yes. from my little visit there, the Biltmore to go and tour, right? Oh, it's beautiful. I mean, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. There's right. so much to do. We are out of time. Roberta Seiler, yes, she is the VP of Marketing. In. And sales at stayfull.com, and you can go to that site and get all the, all the hotels are there for Good spontaneous travel. Right. Don't yeah. forget about weekend mom view. this weekend. Yes.